We have just arrived in Berlin. We'll be staying in Holiday Inn East Side. All right, a little house tour. Like always. Look at this. This is like a house. Pretty cool. Look at that shitty TV though. This room with this little flat it's screen. Yeah, quite a big shower. I don't know why it's this big. It doesn't really make sense. It has nice acoustics. Yeah, this is it. All right, Mustafa Demir's donut teller with beef, sweet paprika, garlic, and trying like a bunch of different spices. I'm so really excited to eat this. How is it? So good. Best kebab I've ever had. So hands good. down, hands down. So fucking good. Mm. Yeah, after that beautiful, really good Döner Teller, we're just enjoying the scenery of That's the, Berlin. That's the famous tower. Ah, yeah, now we've seen that. We don't have to go there. There it is. Yeah. Did you tell our viewers that it's like a chain, there's like two or three different of those kebab shops. Oh yeah. And that Kanye West was at one and Josie recommended it. Yeah. Us. Yeah, thank you Josie Shout out for Josie recommending so Mustafa's or whatever the name was. Mustafa, I'll I'll put it right there somewhere here. Mustafa's Döner. Can somebody tell me how they got that shopping cart up there? It's like 10 meters tall at least. Our Holiday Inn is right there. It's really close, right next to Berlin Wall. Warstock Berlin. Some kind of gingery drink. I'll be having a little taste test. Smells really gingery. This is a video that I'm never gonna use anything. This is a video that's just gonna get deleted. So, bye. Buy 500 megabytes that I just used to try out Vostok. Oh, it is good. I am feeling a little under the weather today, so my voice is not going to be jolly. It's going to be gloomy. There's the TV tower. We're on the tour right now. Yeah, we just heard once about German and Berlin history from this tour guide. It's actually really interesting. In the beginning it was just not east and west. It was four separate pieces, but soon after that it just became east and west. There's Berlin Cathedral. I don't know why I'm acting like a tour guide here. Don't actually think anything that I say without a grain of salt. This palace is only three years old. And yeah, that's pretty crazy. the people of Germany are not too happy about that money use. Yeah. This university building here used to be, I think, university library. And this is where the Nazis took the books out and burned them. One of the biggest burning events was when more than 25,000 books, some even first editions, science, everything that went against Nazis, ideology, were taken out and burned to ashes. Heinrich Heine was a famous German and Jewish poet who studied here at the Humboldt University as well. And he said this at some point in time. Yeah? He said, this was just a prelude where you burn books, you will also burn people. The French dome that is still used as a church, German dome that is not used. It's like more like exhibitions there, right? Yeah. This one's holding a feather up high. It's actually taller. They're almost identical otherwise. It was built to get more, more people. That's how they lured some of the French people here with their own church. That is taller than the German one. Ferrari. Yeah, anyway, this guy is not Charlie, he's Chef. There's the US Army checkpoint. 
This place is called Checkpoint Charlie. Funnily enough, there's McDonald's and KFC. I got this little candy from my German friends. Center Chuck, Rolling Cherry. Let's try. It's really sour. It's good. Mm. Really sour. Oh. Travi. Yeah. The BMW. Not no. the Porsche. No, no, no. It's Not the, the Mercedes. It's the plastic Trabi. Yeah. Here's the remnants of the wall. And there's some sort of uh, exhibition down there. And there's like old Nazi building. I think it was like building for ministries or something like that. You might think why I'm filming a parking lot. So I'm standing on Hitler's grave. The Führer bunker out of Hitler's bunker used to locate right beneath this parking lot. There's not really any monuments to the big that because they don't want there to be any kind of sacred place for people to come to. It's the Holocaust memorial for the murdered Jewish people. This is what it looks like. This is it. What do you think of this baby? Um, well, she's gonna tell us more about the like architecture and why it's this. Hotel Adlon. That's the hotel where Michael Jackson showed the baby. If you remember the picture, I'll put it somewhere here. There's the gate. Five holes, one, two, three, four, five. And the middle one, the big one, is only for the king to walk through. There you have it. Beautiful gate. And then there's the public viewing. Oh, I wish I could watch a game here, but no. We gotta go home today. Which fucking sucks, but that's life. God damn. I wish I had my camera all times available. The guy just went with a this scooter here, Rio Ferdinand, and I missed him. Or didn't miss him, but like the camera missed him. Ferdinand's Instagram story with uh, Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds, who were right next to us yesterday. Again, when we were at the hotel, they were by the Uber Arena. Damn. But why do people stop here? Inside forward. We have just passed the security check with 150 milliliters in my back and nobody noticed that. Kind of risky even to talk about liquids over 100 milliliters here, but I am willing to take the risk. He was looking at my liquid bag from every angle, but he must have missed that one hairspray that said 150 milliliter. Anyway, cheers!